As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your Skyward Strike you might just do it. Sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Farron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanayru Deserts. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all of this. Mm. Beast going out. Trust and fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. Yes. They leave. Well, those butterflies are responding beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I cannot create a beautiful tone this while I'm starting to roll me down a hill. What can we do? That is it, one of the talking statues and the ancient text spoke of. There was just no mistaking it. Ornamental skull. Sweet, it gave me treasures. Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you kind of spot swarming butterflies play a tune of great beauty and a gossip stone might just pop out of the ground with a blank. Just like the old text say, buddy, it appeared with a boing <laughs> and spoke in some strange mm -hmm. tongue. This is a major leap forward in my study of the talking statues. And some of those goddess walls. I've got an inkling I will not have to look very far for those either. And I mean to find one no matter what. Good for you. Say real quick, so I'll have to do that boss battle again. the sky. Yes.
Oh shit.
there's one. You can see the other one over there right now. What's up, Beast? Can I help? So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. So you can turn the windmill so they go always catch the wind, no matter which way it's blowing. But there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge. Down beneath the clouds. Bastard. The windmill's been uselessly sitting there for since. I would suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. I don't know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller. Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there, sure. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls to the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. I don't think of it. Gondo with the scratch told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back up beneath the clouds. Talk about a tale that's been passed down a lot of years, so I wasn't much stop on it. 